Hi everybody, thanks for watching. I'm getting the home theater into shape and I need to change my light fixtures. We have these new ones that are on the walls on this side. And what I want to show you today is how to change out a focus. Before this was a theater, this was just a storage room and I had these uh, lights in the side wall like this. But I'm going to show you how to take one of these out and put in a regular light fixture. So essentially I'm going to show you how to change out light fixtures. Typically, light fixtures are on the uh, ceiling, you know, hanging down. This one's on the wall, so it's a little easier for me to get to. So I thought I'd take a, a few minutes and show you how to do it step by step. Uh, first thing you need to do when you um, change a light fixture is cut the power. Uh, I'm lucky the circuit breaker for the wall lights in this room is different than the circuit breaker for the uh, outlets. So I've already got my lights set up so I can see what I'm doing in the dark. And without much further ado, let's get to work. And I'm going to pull out this old um, light fixture and put in something a little fancier. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Basically, I have these wall sconces that we picked up, I think, at Home Depot for about 30 or 40 bucks a piece. And uh, they're on a dimmer switch now, so I can dim the room. But uh, I just wanted to get something like this off the wall. I've already released the two screws that held this up into place. And now I'm going to pull it out. And you're going to see on the back of here, make sure I can see it. Here, we're going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, now you can see uh, the regular house wire right here white uh, insulated wire and it has a white wire and a black wire and the copper wire which is neutral. I need to take those off first and this is the uh, pretty simple about the simplest wiring thing you can do. It just has a couple screws in the back that we're going to unscrew to make those loose and we're going to attach it to the new light. So I'm going to unbox this one and I'll show you what we have inside of it. Okay, undoing the box we have the little sconce shield there that we'll put on later, a little decorative one. Packaging. This is always good. We have um, three nuts that will uh, screw the um, the wires together. So and a couple of uh, little screws that will hold hold this in place up there. What else do we have? Oh yeah, the meat and potatoes. This is the actual sconce, the part that's going on going on the wall. And if you look on the back, it's pretty simple. First off, it's got this little silver bracket that is going to go across. This metal piece here is going to go across that up there to secure it to the wall. But to get it undone, I have to take off this little nut on the front, unthread that, pull that cap off. And then this whole piece slides out the back. So we're going to secure this to the back wall. Looking closer at the back of this, see if I'm in focus, we see again a black and a white with the copper wire in the middle. I'm going to use my thumb and finger to pull that out straight. And we also see a bare copper wire, which is the ground. Just using my regular screwdriver, I'm going to counterclockwise to make it loose, to loosen it. And simply gently pull it free. There, now we have our old style utility light fixture. We'll save that for some future project. And up in the wall we have two bare wires. One wire above, one wire below, I guess two above. And this, since there's only one screw here, I'll have to use one they provided us. This just spans across the junction box, and I'm going to hand tighten it first just to hold it up in place. in place. 
On a new light fixture, they typically have a warning sticker, and this one does have a warning sticker. It says maximum 60 watts. It's just easier to pull this off now. Pull it slow so you get most of the adhesive off. That way you don't have to use Goo Gone or something if you pull it slow. The adhesive will stick to the sticker, and you'll have a nice shiny fixture. There we go. Pretty good. Now this is the simple part. We just need to go like to like. I have the two white ones that I'm going to put together. I don't like to touch the bare copper wire. It's just a habit I've always been in. So I'm going to put them close by to each other and use a wire threading nut. Put that on there and twist it clockwise. And it'll actually tighten itself around there and thread the hard copper wire. Okay, that's on there. Now, the same fashion, black and black. I don't touch the copper, I just put them right next to each other and let the wire nut hold them together. The last thing we have is the ground to get rid of or to secure. And up here, there's that little green ground nut right there. I'm going to loosen that and secure that wire, the copper wire, around that and that'll ground the light fixture effectively. I've got the ground and the wall wire in there and I'm putting my ground in there and I'll just tighten it up. Okay, we now have the uh, neutral, the hot, and the ground in there. And I'm going to go get a pair of pliers and push these wires back into the junction box. I'll be right back. I'm back and I just have a pair of pliers in there. The, uh, the wall um, wires can be kind of stiff and when you're shoving them back in the junction box, sometimes you can slip and poke your finger. That's why I just got in the habit of using something like this to grab it and push it in. You want to tuck all the wires into the junction box so they don't hang outside the fixture. And this particular fixture, you just slide over that bolt sticking out into place. And using that original nut we took off, we thread that back on. And that's how we put a new light fixture in the wall. Now all we have to do is put the shield on, a light bulb in, and turn the power back on. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll, I'll let you see it fast forward and enjoy the banjo music. Okay. So in about 10 minutes real time, I took a... Uh, final light fixture and change it into a little torsier that's going to look sharp. And now I'm going to go back and uh, flip on the circuit breaker. And you can see we have light. dimmable light matching the others. So we have one more to do, but that's how you change a light fixture. Anyone can do it, just be safe, and if you haven't done it before, you might want to get an electrician to help you. If you like my videos, hit subscribe. I put new ones on all the time, and as always, thanks for watching.